Hi, my name is Amy Fischette and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Chandler, Arizona. Today I wanted to show you how to use the Focus on Behavior Management program to help you to manage students who might see you from different classrooms. I currently teach 75 different students throughout the day and they do not all come from one single homeroom class. The challenge in implementing SOCICOM in this situation is that I do not have a smart board, I did not want to put 75 students into one classroom, and I thought it would be very cumbersome to toggle back and forth between different homerooms on my teacher station. As a result, I decided to load up three different computers every morning and log into each teacher's SOCICOM account. The computers are labeled so the students know which class belongs to their homeroom. I'm going to walk you through how to do this so that you can do this easily with your class as well. Every morning I come in, I start all three computers, and then I have three helper students, and those students know how to load up the internet and get Sokicom ready to go. All I need to do is log in using the password. My students know that if I award them class cash, they go to the computer that's labeled with their homeroom teacher's name, and they click on their icon and give themselves the behavior. So for example, if Thomas comes in ready to work today, he's got his warm-up out, he's answering the questions, I might say, Thomas, why don't you go give yourself some class cash for being ready for class? He would click on, go to the back, click on his avatar, and click on ready for class. And I might do this with three or four students. As they're clicking, the other students are hearing this, and it's a reminder to those students who aren't getting to work quickly that they need to get to work. As we're going over the warm-up, I might also give out class cash to students who are answering questions correctly. So that would be under participation. Finally, after I've taught my lesson and they are working in a small group, I might tap one of the groups on the shoulder and tell them that when they're done with their activity, they can go give themselves class cash for group work to be doing. That's what would fill in the graphic organizer correctly. All right, he is correct. That step would work. The president of Chris Bell. I can't even go give yourself some class cash. Number six. Some of the senators did not like the bill, and you needed to pick the correct sum. Becca, what did you pick? B. She said B, S-O-M-E. Thumbs up if you agree with her. Nice job. Those are on our spelling list this week, aren't they? Nice job there. You can give yourself some class All right, let's look at number seven. If you break the law, there may be consequences. That's our topic sentence. Which of the main or the details would not fit in a paragraph with that topic sentence? I'll go over here. Lily, what did you pick? Mm -hmm. See, you should always drive the speed limit. Thumbs up if you agree that that does not fit. Yes, I would agree as well. Fact or opinion? Taxes are too low. I'm going to come over here. Joey, what did you pick? B. He says B. Opinion. Thumbs up if you agree with him. Yes, and I'll give some class cash to somebody else who can explain why that is an opinion and not a fact. I'm going to go back over to this side. Shane, why is that an opinion? Because some people who don't make as much money would think the taxes are too high, so they actually want to Yeah, some of you might think differently, right? All right. Doing this has really proven to be a motivator for my students. It also takes some of the responsibility off of me as a teacher and allows them to be in control of this. I've noticed that the students come in more quickly, and ready to learn, and participation has also gone up. This is a really great way to use SOCICOM with your students, especially if you share students with different teachers and you don't have them all on one screen. I hope that this helps you to implement SOCICOM in your classroom as well.